Hey, this is uh, Coach Chris Dial. I'm here in the beautiful Our Lady of the Lake Gymnasium today with True to Hoops. We're here today and we're going to do a little segment on some sideline inbounds plays. So we're going to show you a few and within those few we're going to have a couple of little teaching points that can help you and your team be a little bit more effective and a little bit more efficient in trying to score the ball from out of bounds on the side. All right, guys, so this first play we're going to run here, we're just going to make it real simple, call it thumbs up. And as, as you guys go through it, let's go uh, about half speed so I can kind of talk everybody through what's happening here, okay? So go ahead and pop that ball. The first, first part of this is we're going to get our, our low big to get a catch here, catch and face. Go ahead and walk through it, okay? All right, now freeze there. We're going to get this little back screen going to the basket, and obviously if that's open, we're looking for it. We've got a spread floor, a nice space, and if not, we're going to run that player back off of this pin down, and this is somebody, coaches, that we want to be able to knock this shot down pretty consistently, okay? So let's go ahead and bring it in again, okay? And we'll go through the, go through the whole thing here uh, on the pin down, okay? Good. There's this down screen. Probably going to use the outside of that screen there, Jordan. Good and shot okay so a couple of little things all right and we're hoping that goes in a couple little things on this sideline play let's set it back up real quick number one coaches make sure even when you're repping the play that the players understand what side of the screen they should be coming off of etc so if i'm the low help uh, defender right here that screen in practice we have a tendency to watch this guy go run to this guy or whatever but really this this defender is going to be here okay so John's coming to set this down screen. It's probably going to be here, and you need to cinch this up a little bit, right? So make sure you get open. Make sure that I got to work to get around. Now on that catch, the first thing we want Jordan to do here is catch him face. We really want him to be a threat, okay? If he's a guy that can knock this shot down, we want him to be able to do that. For this play, that's not the shot we're looking for. This dribble is going to misdirect the whole play. And if you notice, Lennox is here. Hands are ready. Eyes are engaged. The defender should think this is the action here, right? But meanwhile, we're getting that pin down set on the back side, okay? And that's when our shooter is coming back off for the shot. So there's a lot of little elements to that. Even John down there in the short corner extended, everybody's got to be engaged in the play, uh, not just the guy or the gal that's going to get the shot up, all right? So let's, let's run through that one more time. This is thumbs up. EJ, let's knock it down. Good, a little misdirection and the shot, good. Okay, nice. That's, that's good coaching if you just tell the player to knock it down and then they knock it down. Um, all right, so kind of building off of that, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go to the next one, uh, double thumbs up, okay? So this is just gonna give us an option for a double or a stagger to the coach's preference on the back side. So we'll walk through it again and we'll show a couple of these little points to, to the play, okay? Jordan's coming up, same action, okay, good. This time we're putting that player in that holding cell and he's going to use the, use the double on the backside. Okay, so let's set that back up. Uh, Jordan, let's set it up on your catch real quick up here. So John's setting that screen. And just a quick teaching point, if you're, if you're playing a team that's switching, then go, go back, John. If you're playing a team that's switching, this screen doesn't actually even have to happen. As they start to set up for the switch, John can come right back to the ball. And this will give you some options too. Later in the game, there may be a late lob there. Uh, so anyway, but let's get Jordan that catch up here. First thing Jordan's going to do is catch him face. Okay, good. All right, now this, this is the mix, misdirection here. So he's coming this way. But we want to get about to the midline because we like these players to kind of be on a, on a plane, on a parallel line here. Okay, so after this, in the play right before that, we were bringing this misdirection back to get this shooter off the single, and we still want to show an action up here to where this defender thinks he's maybe defending the same action. And then instead, and it, you know, this is sort of a floppy action set, this player here is going to make a read, okay? And that read was that this option was better than that one, okay? So when he comes off, we're going to get a hard screen here, and we're going to get that second screen to finish it, and that's when Jordan's going to become the assist man and we're going to get that shot, okay? So let's run the whole thing all together and EJ, no pressure. We'd like to see that ball go in again. Okay. Good. 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 Better activity. Good. Good. Good, Kev. 
Good. Nice. Just, you know, little detail there. Kev did a great job. She knew that that ball wasn't coming to her per se, but after she set that screen, still showed hands, still engaged her defender here, and we got the look that we wanted over there, and we knocked it down, okay? Um, going to show one, one more sideline uh, out-of-bounds play here. If you guys can set up that last one, that sideline one. Um, one little, uh, as these guys are getting set, one little uh, teaching point here is so much about sideline uh, execution comes down to whether we're beating their feet or they're beating our feet, okay? Uh, when we've got to get the ball in, if a defender is making it tough for an entry because that defender's feet beat my offensive player's feet, we're going to be in trouble, right? So we want to make sure that we're winning the battle of the feet at each spot. So John's job, if he's going to be an entry, which in this play he's not, but just as an example, he's going to try to beat my feet. And if he, if he does, he's going to be open. But if I, if I fight and beat his, he may not be. So there's a little battle going on at each spot in these uh, sideline out-of-bounds plays that's really important for us to win. Okay? All right, coaches. And this is the next play we've got here from the sideline. Uh, 09, as some know it, or OGP. Here we go. Let's run it. Good, there's our entry. Hopefully we beat the feet. We get a quick change and a little pick to a dive uh, at the rim. So let's, let's get into that again real quick. Okay, so again, just to reiterate the point I was making, uh, we gotta beat the feet here so we can get a catch, okay? So uh, John, simulate that step, good. Okay, we get it in. Now this screen here is important because it looks right here like Kev's going to receive a DHO or she's coming off and she's going to get her shot. So she's doing a great job setting up Linux's success here. Okay. So as she's coming, then she's just getting a quick flip. She's going to set this screen down for him. So when Linux comes up off of the screen, creating some space, it's going to get this DHO freeze right here. We want Linux to be thinking downhill, downhill, downhill. We want him to try to get to the rim. That's going to put some pressure on this defender that doesn't know if he should gap or if he's supposed to stay home or how that works and it puts big guys in a tough spot here. So as Linux turns and starts to get downhill, John's running the rim and that's, that's the shot that we're looking for. And the reason that this will work started with Kev, but now we also got two capable shooters over here on the weak side. So I know that I can't over gap here because if I do, that's a one pitch pass. And I don't care what kind of defense you're running, we don't like that to a shooter, okay? So this, this player is going to have to stay home a bit. And if, if uh, Jordan's defender is last line of defense and he's got to get over here and, and, and try to clog a play, then we're going to kick it over there to the corner and look to knock that shot down, okay? So let's run it one time through. Um, let's, yeah, let's hit, let's hit Big John on the roll. And then we'll do it one more time, Lennox, where we hit a shooter, okay? Here we go. Good. Get our catch. Good job by Kev. Good screen. Good. There's the roll. Good. Good. Okay. And we'll set that back up as they are. Know that that assist pass is going to be a lob. It's going to be a bounce pass and it could be a direct line if we see low hands. Okay. All right. Here we go. This time we'll find a shooter. Good. Setting it up. Quick pass and shot. Nice. Okay. All right, so coaches, I got one more for you. Okay, um, on sideline one, um, let's go ahead and set that up. So Jay, you'll you'll uh, set the screen down there. Okay, right here you've got basically kind of a traditional ball side screens for a wayside. Just a couple of little things to note. Um, that bottom screen, that baseline side screen, needs to happen a half set second quicker uh, than the top screen. And really what we want is we want that player down there to be our shooter percentage wise. It's going to get a lot of attention. If we can get that shot coming right off of that screen, then we're going to make the pass and we're going to shoot the ball. Um, but if not, what we're doing is we're hoping we get some action off of that. OK, so let's run it the first time uh, after uh, Kev, after you catch. And I want to talk about your footwork when you get up there. Uh, Jay, let's go ahead and show back. OK, and let, I'll tell you what, Lennox, just so the coaches can see this, let's hit the shooter the first time, all right? Go ahead and put it up there, all right? Rebound it, put it in. If it doesn't go in, I think it will. And then we'll show the counter on that on that backside, okay? So we'll just go sideline one. Good. 
Good. There's your shooter. Good. Step and shot. Good. Good. Okay, put it in. So, and Kev did a great job. Coaches, this is going to be an inside foot curl catch. Okay, there's a couple of ways, but if that defender comes under with that screen and the lock and trail, we've got to catch one, two. Okay, if for some reason that defender fought over and tried to beat us over there, that's when we want to really diversify our footwork and make sure that if we see that defender going high, we're actually catching out this way in a one-two reverse, okay? So we can go one-two on the lock and trail, or we can go one-two if they're cheating through, okay? Now this time, everybody in the gym knows this is our shooter. This time, we're gonna assume that that shooter got overplayed here and they didn't allow, right? They switched this or they didn't allow that catch. After Jordan sets that screen, he's gonna show back hard to the ball. We're gonna make the entry here. John's gonna stay wide, EJ's our, our safety. And then Kev's gonna make a read. When she sees that defender overplaying, you'll see the action here. She's gonna make a hard backdoor cut. And then John's gonna become our, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Jordan's gonna become our assist, okay? Good. There's your entry, boom, good. Okay, nice. So we overplay a shooter, we get a quick backdoor, bounce pass for the layup, um, and that's just using our personnel as best we can. That's probably gonna be a bounce pass nine out of 10 times. Um, coaches, I've got one quick teaching point on this sideline out of bounds play as we set it back up. Uh, John, I want you to fight for that catch here. And then as Leno passes this ball, we're gonna shorten the time here so that we limit and decrease the time that our big has to, has to manage the ball in the middle of the floor. So by doing that, Linux is gonna take a couple of steps in and this is gonna be a really quick exchange. Boom, he's coming right off and then he's gonna get downhill, okay? So that was very good. Now I wanna run that kind of real time so that we can show these coaches exactly what we're talking about. That can be a deep dive in different scenarios, but right now we want this action to be quick where ball's back in Linux's hands. Good, boom, quickly, excellent. Good, downhill, and the lob, and the finish, okay? Um, so again, just to review, you know, these, the, it's not always uh, the perfect play, it's just running the play perfectly. If we've got great footwork, if we're making sure we're winning the battle of the feet, if we make sure that our players catch and face, uh, we're going to put ourselves in a, a good position to be successful and be efficient off of a sideline or a, a baseline inbounds play. So once again, this is Coach Dial here at Our Lady of the Lake University with True to Hoops.